Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about how to not look sad after being rejected. Okay, so if you, sometimes you can't really help it, if you if you get rejected, sometimes, it can, you know, they might see a little bit of disappointment in your eyes. I don't think it's really something that you can control much, like in the first few seconds it happens. So let's say you go up to someone that you really like and you ask them out and they reject you, you're probably going to look a little bit uh, disappointed, you're going to look a little bit disappointed. So you can't really help that at first really few seconds of the initial reaction and you shouldn't worry about that too much either because they're probably expecting you to feel and look a little bit sad that you, that you just you know got rejected. But what's important though, more important than that, right, it's normal to have that, they're expecting you to, to, to look a tiny bit sad though in those first few seconds after they reject you that's normal, right? That's a normal thing to happen. So don't worry too much about that. What I do want you to be more concerned with is your behavior afterwards, right? Especially if this is someone that you work with or you go to school with, someone that you see on a regular basis, right? So first of all, when they've rejected you, tell them, you know, something simple like, okay, no worries, just take it as a compliment and then walk away, right? Don't just, you know, sort of hover about um, and, and keep on, you know, make a, try and make a new conversation with them. Like, okay, you know, take it as a compliment. Oh, so how you been? How was your weekend? No, don't carry on the conversation. Just say, take it as a compliment and then walk away and go and do whatever it is that you need to be actually doing that day, right? Avoid being around them, basically, in that first, in those first few moments, basically, right? So tell them to take it as a compliment and then walk away. Don't hover, Okay. So afterwards, right, don't give them any special treatment, okay? So this means don't be um, being too pally, you know, um, trying to rectify things, trying to be their buddy and things like that and trying too hard basically or um, showing off when they're around. You know, don't treat them any differently. Um, this can also be, you know, don't be sad either. Don't be just sitting there moping in the corner trying to make them feel bad about rejecting you. Don't be mopey or sad or anything like that because that's just going to make you look pathetic. And if you're overly zealous and you're being too pally or you're um, showing off in front of them, that's going to make you look too zealous. Um, and again, it's, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to be a good look. It's still going to make you look insecure because you, they can tell that you're overcompensating. Okay. And then if you're sitting in there in the, in the corner being mopey, you're just going to look pitiful and they're definitely not going to be attracted to you because maybe, you know, maybe they will change their mind about you. You don't know. It all depends on how you play it afterwards. So just treat them like everybody else. Think of the most neutral person that you know within that setting, whether you go to school with them or you go to work with them. Think of the person there that you you always say hello to, right? Think of the person that you always say hello to, but you have no sort of like emotional connection to them. You don't really care too much about them. They're just a really neutral person that you're kind of, you know, cordial with, but, you know, you don't really care about what they got up to on the weekend or, you know, how their cat's doing, right? <laughs> or something like that. I don't know, right? So with that being said, you've got to treat them like that colleague. You've got to treat them like that person you go to school with, the person that you're friendly to, but you're not really, really good friends with them. And you know, you don't hate them, basically. So you've got to treat them like the most neutral person that you know, in that setting. And that means, you know, you can say hello to them, you can say good morning, but that's about it, right? And you're happy to see them, you always give them a smile, you flash them a smile, that sort of thing. But that's it, right? Um, just treat them like that. Okay. And that will make them see that you're mature, you're not trying to overcompensate, you're not, you know, trying to make them feel bad for you by, you know, sitting there being mopey in the corner and ignoring them and being cold. And each time they talk to you, you're kind of a bit, I don't know, like a bit uh, harsh to, towards them because you feel butthurt that you got rejected, right? It's not their fault that they rejected you. It's not their fault that they don't find you attractive. You don't find everyone attractive, I'm sure. I'm sure if you're a man watching this, you don't find every single woman on the planet attractive. There are probably some women that you are attracted to and there are some women that you're not. And what's happened in this circumstance is that this woman or whoever it is that's rejected you just sees you as one of those people that they're just not attracted to, that they just don't feel that way about, right? And they cannot help it. it attraction is not a choice. If attraction wasn't a choice, then I would choose to be with a man because my life would be so much more easier, but I'm not, 
right? I'm not attracted to men. I'm a lesbian, right? So if attraction was a choice, my life would be a lot easier and I'm sure everyone else's life would be a lot easier as well. But unfortunately, attraction isn't a choice and we can't help who we're attracted to. We can't help who we fall in love with and you shouldn't hold that against them, okay? So just be friend. Just be friendly to them. Don't be mean. Don't be cold. And don't be over, overly zealous. Don't be overly enthusiastic when they're around and try to overcompensate. Just treat them very neutrally, okay? And that will make you not seem sad or make you seem um, immature about what's happened. And you never know. They may question. They might be thinking, oh, maybe they was expecting you to be a bit mopey, or maybe they was expecting you to treat them differently after this. But you're not. You're being very neutral to them. You're being polite, but that's about it. You know? And they may question that. They may think, oh, but I thought that they really liked me. They're now treating me they, they kind of treat me like, not that I don't exist, but they don't, they're not giving me any special treatment. And I'm curious about that. I'm wondering about that. It's very confusing, right? And maybe they will start trying to test the waters around you a little bit. And perhaps they may even feel more attracted to you because you showed the interest, but then you went completely neutral on them. It's going to make them question it. And it may make them more attracted to you. And you never know, maybe something can happen in the future with you too. You never know how these things pan out, okay? Um, so all in all then, you need to focus on what you need to do when she's around and not on her presence. Okay. So if this is someone you go to school with, someone you go to work with, focus on your schoolwork or focus on your friends, you know, or if it's someone, if, if it's someone you go to work with, then when she's around in her presence, just focus on your work. Just focus on what you're doing. Don't focus on her or his presence. Okay. Focus on yourself. Focus on what you need to be doing for that day. Okay that will help, right? Especially if this is someone that you see in a physical environment, okay? So how to not look sad after being rejected? You may not be able to help those first few seconds when it happens. You might not be able to hide your disappointment in your face, in your eyes, but you can definitely control how you behave afterwards, okay? So save this video, come back to it if this kind of thing happens to you so you know what to do or just to refresh yourself. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. And if there is anything you would like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments. And I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.